Azure Storage provides a range of redundancy options to ensure your data's safety and availability. I recommend you take this video slowly so you understand the finer details of each of the redundancy options. This chart shows all the redundancy options supported in Azure. By the very nature of redundancy, it will involve the primary region and in some cases the secondary region. Broadly, redundancy is divided into three categories. Redundancy in the primary region, redundancy in the secondary region and read access in the secondary region. You choose the redundancy as per your project need. As the redundancy increases, the cost of the service also increases. Do not get overwhelmed by the available options. Once you understand the design, you will appreciate the options available. It will then become easier. Let me explain using Indian geography. It consists of two regions, Central India and South India. Let me call them region 1 and region 2 for easier reference. This image summarizes all the redundancy options. Region 1 may involve availability zones in some cases. It will be used throughout this video. Next, let us review each redundancy option and look at its properties and applicable use case. First, we will check out locally redundant storage, shortly LRS. It is the simplest among all the redundancy options. It involves only a single region. LRS replicates your data three times within a single data center, providing a minimum of 11 ninths of durability. While it is the most economical option, it is also associated with the risk of data loss in the event of a disaster within the data center. This is ideal for a simple use case that needs redundancy at a less severe level. In this image, you can see the locally redundant storage containing a single storage account having the data copied three times. It is the simplest among all. It doesn't have any dependency on any other region. Next, we have zone redundant storage, shortly ZRS. As you can guess from the name, the redundancy is handled through multiple zones. This again falls under the redundancy in the primary region category. It replicates your data synchronously across three Azure availability zones, providing at least 12 ninths of durability. This ensures the data is available even if one zone is down, as the data is available in other zones as well. This makes it ideal for high availability and data governance requirements. In this image, you can see the region consists of three zones, namely zone one, zone 2 and zone 3. Even if data is lost in zone 1, it is available in zone 2 and zone 3. It too doesn't have any dependency on the secondary region. Regarding redundancy in the secondary region, you have two options. Geo redundant storage, shortly GRS and Geo zone redundant storage, GZRS. The simplest among them is Geo Redundant Storage. GRS copies your data synchronously within the primary region and asynchronously to a secondary region, ensuring at least 16 nines of durability. However, data in the secondary region is only available after a failover or with read access enabled. In this image, in the case of a Geo Redundant Storage, the primary region with three data copies is replicated to the secondary region, which has three copies of the data. Hence, even if the central India region is down, the data is available in the south India region. GZRS, on the other hand, combines it with a zone redundancy in the primary region. It combines redundancy across availability zones with protection from regional disasters by replicating your data across availability zones and to a secondary geographic area. It provides a minimum of 16 nines of durability and is the ideal choice for maximum consistency, durability, availability and resilience. 
Additionally, it offers read access to your data in the secondary region. In this image, the Central India region has zone redundancy in three zones. The same is replicated in the South India region as well. The latter has three copies of the data. Finally, you have two options similar to the ones we saw earlier. The only difference is that the secondary region data is available as a read-only copy at any given point of time. These two options for read access in the secondary region are read access zero redundant storage, shortly REA, GRS, and read access geo zone redundant storage, RA, GZ, RS. Both options enable read access to your data in the secondary region, even when the primary region runs optimally. They offer the same benefits as GZRS with the added advantage of read access to the secondary region. In this image, the dotted one refers to the read access options. Notice how they are very similar to GRS and GZRS. The only difference being the data is always available in the secondary region, namely South India as a read-only option. I understand if all these seem confusing. I recommend you spend time with this image to know how each redundancy option is designed and structured. Once you get hang of it, it becomes easier to recollect when needed.